<coughs> Hello and welcome back. Let's go path here, and this is Bangalore Ranked, episode one. Um, starting this out here, um, I'm already in not bad silver. You can see I'm right about in the center. This is a ranked match. So the next couple of episodes, I will be trying to climb in rank, playing as a. Uh, Jungle Rhyme here, hopefully. <sighs> Looks like we already got a support, which is good. Okay, well that, that'd be double CP. I don't really want that. But it's not the end of the world. I do like Rhyme anyways. Maybe he, he still may go, go weapon. I'm definitely not going weapon. <laughs> definitely going crystal. He should know that, which means he either does not care... So in turn, I do not care, or he is going weapon. Either way, I don't really mind. So, hopefully, the enemy team decides to lock in their heroes, and we will be able to get into the match. But it looks like we might not be able to do that. In which case, I'll be very sad. Hey, and we get into the match. Sweet. So, looks like we're going against... Kind of no support. Could be support Joel. That has been a thing I've seen before. I'm not really saying it's good though. Um, two, three Joel. That's pretty cool. We got uh, skins on our side as well. And the Ringle Celeste as well. Also a very squishy team comp. Which, to be honest, is probably the counter to Rhyme. Rhyme is kind of countered by, uh, what is it? Burst, sorry, I kind of forgot the word there. He's kind of right, burst, because he can, uh, he can, well, he counters sustain heroes, mainly because his sustain is pretty much simply, it's just better. So, support Ringo, alrighty then. Um, he's able to counter sustain heroes because he is simply able to out sustain them, and burst can counter him due to him being. Pretty squishy. He's, I mean, like, he's tanky, but do, this is due to his fortified health, which you increase through damage. So, if you build damage, you're, you're, you have more sustain, but less tank. It, it's almost as though, it's, it's a little bit like building a lot, a lot of, uh, lifesteal without a lot of health. Except that actually works better. <laughs> Um, if that was all at all confusing to anyone, I apologize. I'm sure it was. I explained that terribly. I was just basically just yelled, said a bunch of things about <laughs> sustain and <laughs> life steal and stuff like that. But, anyways, I do very much so enjoy playing Rhyme. I feel like his damage potential is very high with a great amount of sustain. He's also very fun to play, which is important. Uh, you know, because you're Mangalore is still game and you're supposed to have fun with it. And what's the point of playing if you're not having fun? So <laughs> I do like playing Rhyme for those reasons. And the second I'm gonna there you go, have prism. I don't think they're in okay, no, they're not. Okay, what's Celeste doing over here? Uh, oh, nice, nice. He may die, though. Yep. Oh, gosh. They're, they got too much range. I can't fight right now. He He's also very countered by ranged, and if you're going against a double range team comp, like I am here, you will not have the best of days. Just because he's going to have a huge problem sticking to them. Which sucks a lot that I have to go against double range team plus Joel, which is basically ranged herself due to her second and first ability. So, needless to say, this may not be an easy match in the slightest. Not to say it's not impossible. Lord Vox 
seems to be decent. He is going weapon power, so I thank him for that. How well that will do is, uh, well, we will see. Okay, so I'm tied with the levels with their Joel. Joel has the heavy steel. Actually, I've actually never seen this 50. So heavy steel actually gives you more weapon. So is respectively better than the crystal alternative, which is um, heavy prism, which is what I have right now. So that kind of sucks. But uh, crap, I kind of saw that coming, but... I thought they would have done it a long time ago, so I didn't still think that was going to happen. Die. I should probably be careful right now. Can't afford that yet. Oh, okay. So, Captain has zero vision. And I had that one scotch up earlier, but it's now been destroyed. Dude, sucks pretty bad. Yeah, that's not happening. Well, I, I tried to... <laughs> nothing could really happen there. Celeste was just way too far away. <laughs> there was... I didn't do anything, really. So, Minion Mines, Illinois, a big thing that has changed in this recent update. They are um, made to be useful... Again, <laughs> before like 30 minutes into the match, which I think they did very successfully. However, it uh, kind of sucks for the laner now. Kind of gives a lot, a little more priority onto the jungle because there is there is no increased um, gold payout in the lane at any point now within the game. A little bit unfortunate there. Oh my gosh! See that that that's, that's just that's what am I gonna do there? Oh my god! I gotta get out. Rip me, Dominion. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm just gonna get out. <laughs> I have like no health left. It's like he stood there waiting for him to come, but then stood out in the lane. Or out of the brush enough to be seen at the same time, so that was pretty pointless. He's nearly dead. I near I was nearly dead. I'm a little six though, so that's that's cool. Uh, I, I mentioned this and then we got into a fight, but I got Frostburn to help me stick to them since they are kind of all ranged. But minus Joel, who, as I stated earlier. Might as well be ranged. When did they get two kills? Who'd they kill? Oh, Vox died twice. Oh, two ganks. I think he died too. Can't remember. But if I had to guess, my guess would be to being ganked twice. Vox's build is interesting to say the least. Yay for running away. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was very successful. Despite the situation, he is dead. Not much can be done about that anymore. However, Catherine didn't have a very good stun, well, time stun. And then I was able to follow up. For some reason, the minion mine insists on attacking me, and I miss the freaking that. Th oh, I killed the last. Uh, that extra second pop burst of damage was enough to get the kill. That was very lucky. Very surprised that even happened in the first place. Due to this box, is able to push up a little bit without too much of a risk of punishment. Of course, Joel is able to. Do a return with the jump. Hopefully they don't... <laughs> Ho I was about to say, hopefully they don't take that, but... A little too late. That sucks. So, Vox, I've noticed now, by now, is not the best. 
over extending there quite a bit to a team that has is able to do that quite easily. So am I able to get a kill there? Probably should have been able to secure that with my alt. However, uh, I missed, so that happened. Catherine, back up. Be able to get that second pop off on his first ability. He can do so much damage. So we're going to go ahead and take the turret here. It's not... CP, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. So, we're able to get the kill there. Sadly, they are going to get the ace with the Solar Storm from Celeste that does not come out for whatever reason. So, he's able to get away. Sweet. Good. Great. So, why can't I buy items? <laughs> so... Then I typically go for a full offense build, the exception of one Fountain of Renewal. Interesting item for a uh, jungler. However, I feel it suits him very well, able to um, sustain him long enough so that once you get low health initially, you can Fountain, and then by the time you use the Fountain, you're able to be alive long enough to build up plenty of fortified health, so that you will not be dying anytime soon. Speaking of dying, Joel did not go that direction. <laughs> um, Joel is going to just jump right over that wall there. However, to prevent such a thing, I'm able to go ahead and just use my first ability there. Give Vox the kill. No problem whatsoever. Getting some pro plays right in there. Capitalizing on <laughs> the absolute failure of a play of the enemy team. Celeste is getting very, very um, confident in <laughs> just kind of walking after them right there. Despite the kills being pretty even. Let's be not by. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can. Cut this out correctly. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. When trying to spam his abilities, I don't know if it's a glitch or I just like am bad at it. But the way the way it like works, using your ultimate, then your first ability, then your second ability, sometimes it just, it seems to like mess up. I don't know if it's visually or what. But I used my alt there, but it, it, it you can see it's on cooldown now, but it never went off. And that obviously does not suit well with me being as though it may have a low cooldown it is not that low of course Vox just thinking he can go in and basically 1v2 for uh, no reason at all he has done basically nothing to prove that so I'm not sure why he got so overzealous there but everything should be Okay, still, we are down two kills, but up a turret, which should put the uh, gold difference about even. Going to go, not sure what's going on right now. Not sure what my team is doing, if they're trying to go in or not. Gonna go ahead, chase down the Ringo here. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> so, however, my team will be killed for me going off. That was probably a very poor decision. In fact, it was a very poor decision. Yeah, cool. Luckily, I am able to catch off one of them trying to casually walk away. Which is always great. Going to go ahead and take my next item as a broken myth. Probably the best and most important item for him. 
being as though it increases your sustain immensely with your ability to build up your crystal damage over time, which in turn make you more tanky throughout the fight. So not only is it the essential breaking point for CP, you put it on essentially the CP version of Krull. So, yes. As you can imagine, it is very strong. I'm lucky enough for the sky, <laughs> sky, Joel, to walk straight into my first ability time and time again, giving me a easy kill right there. So luckily, we were able to clutch that fight, despite the fact. Oh, excuse me. Despite the fact that I missed my alt completely and embarrassingly, utterly. Words. English ones. <laughs> Anyways, um, despite that being a very sloppy theme fight, we did come out the victor of it. And when I say sloppy, <laughs> I don't think these mean. Okay, now they're up. I just saw one spawn. So, you can charge jungle very fast if you're able to get that. The, the pop off of your first ability to hit the minions. However, it's not always easy. You saw me hit the first pop, but not the second one. Second one, of course, doing the more damage right there. Where he seemed to just kind of disappear there. Despite the fact that we were in that bush. I'm going to go ahead and buy a broken myth real quick. It's a lot, no, it's not it's crap. Our Catherine has very low uh, mana. So don't really feel super comfortable going into this next fight. Luckily, they're Celeste, and assumingly the rest of their team does back off. <sighs> Catherine is seeming very confident in invading right now, despite having basically zero mana left. I do not feel comfortable... Uh, juke <laughs> going in right now. I can't build up my fortified health right now. If I'm able to, I will be fine. But until that point, eh. Ha <laughs> ha! So... That right there, that's the perfect example, oh my gosh, yes, of how to use um, Rhyme, use the fortified health as your tank, I was, there was no way I was going to be able to tank that in the slightest, the, um, his ultimate would have easily killed me, however, by essentially going back into the fight, I was able to essentially survive, which is normally the opposite of how it works. Normally you run away from the fight in order to survive, but that is the opposite right there. I use my ultimate as well, which gave me a lot more fortified health, essentially maxing it out, allowing me to, in turn, survive the Ringo ult and the fights all together. In other words, good things happened. Whew, <laughs> that was crazy, that was intense. Um, we all got out of that fight, luckily. I'm going to not go ahead and build a shiver steel. I'm going to start working towards the fountain, and I'm going to buy a fountain. <laughs> so yay for that. Oh my gosh, they're all up there. Going for a strong push right now. Not precisely sure what gave them the idea that they're going to be able to do this. Especially since they're all kind of dead. So I'm not going to be able to catch Ringo. I would greatly prefer a Warhorn. Catherine does have a Warhorn. So good job for Catherine for recognizing that. That is very important to us right now due to them having superior range.
I will be able to catch out the Ringo from behind here. Sort of. So there we go. Get an easy kill right there. I'm not exactly sure what the heck that Joel was thinking. Not sure how Catherine stole a kill as well, or why. Does make me quite a. I don't know how I missed that and still hit it at the same time. Boom! No, took no damage. Cool. Boom! <laughs> oh no, but I took a turret shot, so I didn't get the full heal. I'm gonna go ahead and run away. Hopefully, my team is able to secure the Kraken once I get over there. Giving us the ace buff, anyways, assuming the team doesn't come up behind us and start attacking us. So, optimum situations all around. After this Kraken take, we should be able to push out for the game. Assuming nothing crazy happens, going to go ahead and get an infusion since the game is wrapping up. Their Joel has essentially given up all hope at this point. I'm going to go over and not steal a kill because that would be rude. Plus, I would not be able to do it anyways. <laughs> so, not sure what they can even try at this point to somehow get back in this game. They are essentially completely and utterly done. Go ahead and have my kill stolen again right there. Just going to go ahead and zone this Ringo constantly off of the Kraken. He is able to quite well poke me, but as you see there, I just go ahead and use my fountain. No problems. Kraken is going to go ahead kill it. Uh, I'm going to go kill their Joel real quick, just for fun. Or have him take it. So, there you go. There is a rhyme. I, um, oh wow, that, I just kind of stopped talking there. I feel I did very well. I kind of carried. I, uh, I know when I'm carried, and I, I pretty much know when I'm not carried. When you have more money as the jungler than the laner, you know, you kind of carried a little bit. Even though the Catherine did steal a decent amount of my kills, at least at the end there. I did have a couple clutch plays <laughs> against their their Celeste, who kind of stood and took the second pop and that gave me a couple of my kills, which was which is always fun. Uh, my team did do pretty well despite having a couple of uh, blips early on in the match. Blips, I don't even know if that word fits at all in the position where I'm using it. But I was able to get 120 farm. Not exactly sure where that came from. I didn't even realize I was so high. That's uh, quite a bit for a jungler. I did have quite a bit of money. My build was nearly full, just one more item. I probably would have gone for either a shatter, shatter glass or a uh, alternating current. As you can see at the end there, <laughs> Celeste goes and go, goes for all the swift shooters. Uh, selling the build. Ringo, he did decent. He, I feel like, was forced, pretty strongly forced, into that... Roam slash support role, so I do feel bad for him. However, that is going to be what you're stuck with. Sometimes, this is how it works. So, it was pretty um close early on. They did have some advantages at some point, but Rhyme being a late game beast that he is similar to Cruel, as I mentioned before, he is basically CP Cruel, but burstier. And a lot more fun to play, to be honest. He also fits a little bit better into the meta. Meta. Meta, if I could speak. So, anyways, I'm quit rambling. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. GG. <laughs> oh, and I should probably, since this is all about ranked match, show you how far I got up. So, I got up a decent amount. Not as much as I... Possibly could have. So I'm nearing into the gold. Almost there. One more match should be get get me there. It looks like I got a friend request. 
I don't remember who that was. I'll have to check in the recording to see who that was. I don't remember who it was. I don't know who this guy is. Hello again. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Again, for the second time.